And in some breaking news this hour, the chief of the Army, Lieutenant General Tabiso Mukosi, has died in a statement. The Department of Defense said General Mukosi died at UNITA's hospital near Pretoria following a short illness. President Cyril Ramaphosa has expressed his sadness in a statement. On the line, we have Defense Force spokesperson Spiwe Lamine. Very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, what more can you tell us about the Lieutenant General's passing? Well, it's, it's a sad day for the for the uh, defense uh, establishment and the defense force community that we lost uh, a young uh, officer in age who had risen up the ranks of the defense force to become a three-star general and as the head of the army. Let me just correct one thing. There are four services that make up the defense force. It's the Air Force the Army, the Navy, and the Health Services. So General Mukhosi was the Chief of the Army. That is one of the services. And of course, uh, that distinction is clear because uh, many people often refer to uh, Lieutenant General Shwake also as a Chief of the Army, whereas is he Chief of the SANDF but also of the Army as well? Well, General Shwake is the overall in charge of the Defense Force. He's the Chief of the South African National Defense Force. Now, General Mukhosi was under him in terms of uh, him heading the, 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 the wing or the environment of the army. And then there's another general uh, of the Air Force, a general of the uh, Navy, I mean, an admiral of the Navy, and then uh, the general of the of the SAMs. They all report to General Shock, and that's the hierarchy. So General Shock is overall Chief of the South African National Defense Force. Now, uh, what uh, I'd imagine is uh, sad for you is that uh, General Tabiso, Lieutenant General Tabiso Mukosi had just been appointed. Yes, it, it's very sad uh, because he took ill uh, just before uh, the appointment or during that time. He took ill and uh, we all um, had hoped that uh, by now he would have started his duties as uh, the chief of the, of the army. But uh, he took ill and was in hospital for a good a good month, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. If you could just uh, kindly share with us a, a bit of his military history, but also uh, why this particular mm -hmm. important was significant. This particular appointment was significant. Well, <coughs> uh, General Mokhosi was was uh, uh, quite young and uh, very very. Um, clued up when it came to defense matters and defense issues. He actually comes from the non-statutory forces, um controversies, or the, the wing that fought uh, on, on the side of the ANC. So he, he grew up in that uh, environment and, and went up to, in fact, personally, I met him in the UK when he was doing a, a master's, I think, uh, in military science as a colonel. Uh, that's about 10 years ago, somewhere there. So he, he, he was uh, not only schooled as in theories, but in practical matters that are uh, Defense Force related. Mm. And, and what adv uh, example would he have set, do you think, just on the basis of his character as you speak about it, but just the experience that we'd have had for young army officers uh, in South Africa, especially post-democracy? Yeah, you see, and and this is this is what we call um, building our own timber, because uh, General Mukhosi uh, started at a at a very very low level rank, and he grew up in in the system, and he showed sign of high 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 potential, and and as young as he is, he quickly went up the ranks. Uh, because it's very, very uh, difficult to go up the ranks of the National Defense Force. You have to stay in one rank for approximately 10 years. He was able to to rise uh, because of his um, intellect on military issues, because of his understanding of uh, uh, military matters. He grew up, uh, he, he quickly rose up the ranks of the South African National Defense Force. And therefore, I think young people, those that are his age group and uh, below him, would have looked up to him 
to lead them as a young man, and uh, they would have looked up to him, I guess, many of the younger ones, to say, we want to be like that general who became a, a three-star general at a very young age. Mm. Obviously, early days yet, Mr. Tlamini, to speak about memorial services and funeral arrangements, but is there anything that you are able to communicate with us, the likelihood of mm -hmm. where his final resting place is going to be? I, I so happened to be with his uh, family today when we were at the hospital. It's, 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 you're correct. It's very, very early. I wouldn't even want to go venture into there mm. until a couple of days from now. Mm. It's very early. I met his wife, his two sisters, his two sons, and uh, it was just like that. And I'd imagine that they too are distraught that uh, this was unexpected even though he was ill. It, I, indeed. I mean, uh, his two sons uh, were quite, um, yeah, I think they're in their mid-twenties or one mid twenty, one late twenty. They are devastated. Uh, and, and I don't want to talk about his wife and even the two sisters that, that we were with them. Just, it's just sadness. Thank you so much for speaking to us, uh, National Defence Force spokesperson, Pue Klamini.